Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So I'm excited today because I'm going to do Spider-Man variants. Um, they're all really nice books. They're sick covers. They're all variants. And uh, talk about Marvel in general. Um, most of these variant covers have decent paper on them because they're variants. But Marvel's been in and out with their paper. So uh, right now, these are pretty good. Um, this one is Peter Parker... Spectacular Spider-Man number one. Uh, I think this is a 1 in 25 variant. Um, I guess they're pretty hard to get. Um, everything looks good so far on the book. I'm pretty lucky to actually have gotten this. The front's good. Dig in closer. Hmm. Trying to see if we see anything wrong with this book. Hmm. Must be missing something. Let me really take a look at it. a little something right here, but so much small. Sorry I'm taking so long. Yeah, this book's pretty clean. So I'm going to give it a near mint. And uh, probably going to try to sell it on eBay for about 15 bucks. These are pretty cool variants. So we'll move on to the next ones. You guys are going to like okay, these. Okay, guys, so this is a really cool one. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 801 variant by J. Scott Campbell from Midtown Comics. It's an exclusive book. Um, oh, that's cool. Look at that. I believe it also connects with another one. There's 801 inside. So it's a sick black hat variant cover with black Spider-Man on it. Um, let's check it out. Of course, you can only get these from Midtown. Small things. Very small, two little ones. These are commanding a pretty good price on eBay right now. Um, so those dings are a little bit more because the cover's so glossy they make a pretty serious statement so um, you know, and who knows if you're going to find a high grade copy of this because I know they're only exclusive to Midtown which is really cool so with those dings just to be safe I'm going to say VF near Mint 9.0 I'm going to ask 20 bucks for this book, but it's a really sick one. Let's move Next on. Next up, we got the black and white art germ. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number one variant from Keras Comics. This book is sick. Um, I have a couple different ones. I have the, a couple of them graded. Um, they all came back 9.8s. But, of course, I sent in the 9.8s. So, this book is really nice. It's hard to see it, but there are, I'm putting a light right on it. There's a little something there, but it's, you know, it's, they're white, so. I'm trying to make it so you can see the, it's so insignificant. Let's check the back cover. I mean, it's really hard to see anything. There's some discoloration, but I think that's just printing. I saw it before. I don't see it now. Oh, yeah, there's something here. You know, I this is one of those books where it's up in the air. I don't know. So it looks like there's a little... Oh, that's just the wind blowing it up. 
That's a clean book. Um, it's, you know, I'm going to give it a near mint and sell it for like 20 bucks. But that's a sweet art germ cover. We got two more left of some cool Spider-Man stuff. So next up, we have Amazing Spider-Man 797, the whole Red Goblin thing. This is the Young Guns variant. I remember when this came out and everyone was freaking out about it, trying to get it. Um, a lot of people say different things about this book. I love the cover. Um, I think it's great. I love the colors. I love everything about it. It's a little bit wavy, but that's okay because it's the ink. So, let's look at it. I, I sent one out to get graded recently. I can't wait till these books come back. I'm not going to look. I want to find out how my how it went for me. There is one little thing I saw. It's right here. It's like a little indention. Whether it's from a finger or whatever. I'm sure it could get pressed out, but I'm not going to press it. The back cover is nice and clean. Everything's clean about this book except that one part. So what I'm, I'm going to do is give it a VF plus and just forget about it and ask 10 bucks for it. But this is a great cover. Um, you guys should look for it. I don't know, whatever. Um, you guys, again, you can always check my eBay. These will be listed on there um, and they're great. I have one more and we'll go from that. Last up, we have the Venomize number one. Mark Bagley, PX Previews Exclusive from the C2E2 2018, limited to 3,000 variant cover. Now that's a mouthful. That's what she said. All right, so sick cover. Love this cover. I ordered a bunch of these. The front of the cover is great. Um, there aren't there isn't there aren't any issues with it. The problem is, and I, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's a problem. You know, people like different things. Everything's fine, but there, and you can barely see it right here. It's just like a bend or something, a little ding. Let's see. I don't want to scare everyone. I can't. It's hard to move the light around. It's there, though. I know what I can do. See it? Little fold. Everything's perfect on that book, except that. So, that would get pressed out, too. Um, I'm going to say VF Plus. I was going to say VF Near Mint. But anyway, again, those are some cool Marvel variants, Spider-Man related. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.